I get so I get so confused sometimes. Like. I get so confused sometimes like sometimes I have like it's like I'm trying to like time like when I'm most creative and then sometimes I feel like I'm like I'm forcing it and then other times I just let it happen and it's like it works way better that way and sometimes I'm just pushing too hard to the point where I get like I get so edgy and irritable I mean, I love coffee. Don't get me wrong. I love coffee. God damn, she is so beautiful. Oh my god. The power of celibacy. When you haven't when you have not engaged in your sexual appetite and you're harnessing your sex drive natural girls look amazing to you like if you're if you're exposing yourself all the time like if you're hooked on porn you're just you're just completely killing your sex drive. The deep down sex drive that will make you do anything to get with like natural women is destroyed by pornography. It's, it's destroyed. And the problem is, is when you destroy, like if you're, if you're giving yourself a reward without doing anything for it, like, let's say, I mean, it's, it's free, a couple of clicks and you're, you're already seeing a, a girl naked. Like you're already seeing her. You're already getting it. It's, I, I call it artificial rewards. And, and you're actually what you're doing is you're giving your brain the reward before you've done anything to work for it. So you can imagine you're basically screwing yourself because the natural deep down drive to want to be with beautiful women. And the thing is, is I've gone 490 days celibate. I've had two times where I, I, I didn't slip up. I slipped up one of the time. The other time I chose I chose to jerk off. But and I did I did regret it both times. But the thing is is So I consider myself 490 days and I know there's going to be people who are like, "Well, that's not really technically a streak if you broke it." Hey, you can you can you can say whatever you want it's it's my streak it's it's my thinking and i allow myself like if i want to say i'll do a 500 days i'll do a 500 day streak and i'll allow myself five slip ups well is it that that's pretty damn good right like <laughs> who's going to argue it like if you're at 500 days who cares if you you know who cares if you messed up three times you can't have that mindset where you're like, oh man, I, I slipped up, I broke my streak. No, that's, that, that thinking is the thinking that makes you feel bad about yourself. I don't feel bad about myself. 490 is amazing. Not many guys have gone 490. But the point is, is real women seem amazing when you haven't jerked off in 490 days. And the thing is, is the internal drive as a man 
to want to get with women is like you'll do you'll do like with my knee injury i'll i will crawl through that's the only way that i'm still doing my knee injury is because i'm celibate that's the only way like i'm i'm facing a wheelchair right now and i'm still like this week i talked to seven women on the phone i never used to do i never used to talk to anybody on the phone Granted, one was my mom, and the other one was my cousin in California. But that's besides the point. The other five are legitimate. I'm just, listen, in all my videos, I'm completely honest with you. As embarrassing it is as it is for me, I, I don't care. I want to help you. And if that means, I, if that means me being a little bit embarrassed, if that means me being a little bit awkward and embarrassed, I'll, I'll share it. I don't. I don't give a shit. The J man. Listen. I don't. I don't care about feeling awkward, because if I help a hundred men get off porn, what do I get? What do I give a shit? That's all I care about. That's all I care about. I don't. I don't care about. I don't care about the fact that I'm awkward. I'm awkward as shit sometimes. We're all we're all awkward as shit sometimes. And it feels good. It feels good to uh it feels good to help people. It, it really does. Because there's people out there that are struggling with this addiction. And hold on, I I, I get distracted by this by this girl. Alright, I gotta turn this off. The point is, is that when you're celibate, it's always it's always a trade-off. It's always a trade-off. If you want those benefits, if you want those benefits, increased mental strength, drive, determination, attitude, patience, belief in God. Try going. Try going seven days without jerking off. Try going two days. If you're hooked on porn, just go just go one day, two days, three days. Just start small. Just start small. But I promise you there is a huge amount of power in taking control of your life, taking control of your mind, and going after real women in the real world. You know, take a risk. Porn porn is not porn is not gonna get you anywhere in life. I promise you. I absolutely promise you.